Breaking news out of Anderson County. The coroner confirms two people are dead after a chase that started in the city of Anderson and ended in a crash on Dobbins Bridge Road around 7 p.m. tonight. We are still working to get more information on what led up to this chase and what happened during it and then what led up to the crash. But we do know it was initiated by the police department. The sheriff's office confirms they did assist by deploying stop sticks, but we're told by the sheriff's office spokesman they did not get involved in the actual pursuit. Fox Carolina's Jarvis Robertson is live on the scene. And Jarvis, you can see crime scene tape up behind you. Still a very active scene at this hour. Cody, still a very active scene. It is, and it's unclear just how long officers will remain here on scene. Now, I have been told that Highway Patrol is in charge of the investigation. But as you can see behind me, we have several officers on scene, including the Anderson Police Department. Now, as you mentioned, that crash did happen sometime around 7 o'clock this evening. It's unclear why the crash was actually going on. That is the information that we're certainly trying to find out for you guys this hour. Now, uh, I did have a chance to speak with uh, a couple of people off camera here not too long ago one guy pulled up and said that one of the deceased is actually his best friend's wife and also there's another lady here on scene who says that she's a relative of one of the deceased members so a lot of information that we're still having to gather right now and a lot of information we're still going to work to find out to you to get those details to you now be sure and stick with fox carolina because as this continues to develop we're going to work to bring you all the latest information reporting live in anderson tonight i'm jarvis robertson of fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news. Jarvis, thanks so much. Of course, we'll stay on top of that breaking news out of Anderson County. Also breaking, the former Atlanta police officer accused of shooting and killing Rayshard Brooks was granted bail today. Garrett Rofe appeared in court remotely where a judge set his bail at a half a million dollars. The judge ruled Rofe was not a danger to the community or a flight risk. However, he does have to wear an ankle monitor and has to give up his passport. Rolf faces a felony murder charge after the shooting earlier this month. Another officer involved, Devin Brosnan, was charged with aggravated assault. He already bonded out of jail. The two are accused in the shooting death of Rayshard Brooks. Brooks was reportedly intoxicated in the drive through Wendy's there in Atlanta. During the arrest attempt, which lasted over 40 minutes, at the end of that, a struggle happened. Brooks got a taser and fired it behind him. Rolf then shot and killed Brooks. He was shot twice in the back as he was running away. Of course, we're going to stay on top of this developing story. As we get new information, we'll update you here on the air and inside our free app. Who got to go? Yeah, Who got to go? Yeah, An upstate group calling for a councilman to resign after controversial Facebook posts. A group of protesters chanted and marched outside of Malden City Hall tonight. They're asking Dale Black to give up his seat with Malden City Council. Fox Carolina outside of City Hall where that protest wrapped up tonight. Hey, Tori, well, a lot of people still calling for this councilman to resign, even after issuing an apology. But a lot of people think it's not enough. And tonight, they brought that message here to City Hall. Who got to go? Yeah, Who got to go? Yeah, Those words ring clear outside Malden City Hall. Who got to go? Yeah, Who got to go? Yeah, the protest organized by Greenville Black Lives Matter calling for Malden City Councilman Dale Black to resign over what they describe as racially insensitive Facebook posts. Dale Black has got to go. If you were in a position you were in and you made such comments, people wouldn't want you there either, you know, because it's just incendiary and it could tear a whole structure down. And he's in for something that calls shots for the community. A group of supporters also showed up defending the councilman. Uh, not well, he gave yeah, me the opportunity. If I'm an opportunity, I know Dale Black. How you know him? I know him real well. You know him, so I'm going to get him in the house. I don't know see what you are. He's not a racist. The councilman issuing an apology for the controversial post, saying in part, I recently received a Facebook message concerning the controversy involving historic monuments, which I reposted on my Facebook account. I regret this and now understand why this was offensive. As a public leader, I pledge this will never happen again. 
but organizers say it's not enough. The apology is not sincere. You know what's sincere? It's him resigning, him leaving, getting out of office. We're not taking it no more. Well, the city council met last week and they recommended that he resign. However, the councilman released a statement earlier saying he has no plans to resign and he plans to continue serving the city. Live in Malden, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.